All right, so welcome. So I have I have some six pound weights that I'm gonna use for my strength portion. I have some two pound weights that I'm gonna hold in the cardio portion. You don't have to hold weights at all in the cardio portion, right? You don't technically have to hold weights in anything, but if you want a couple of different sizes, you can have those nearby. Let's warm up those shoulders. Ah, oh, shoulder shrug right there. I am sore today, my friends. Take those shoulders forward. I have no idea why. <laughs> it's like kind of a stiff sore. Uh, and a little twist side to side. Usually I kind of know. I'm like, oh, I did such and such. It's just kind of a general stiffness. I think I need to do some rolling. Oh, we got it right here. So we'll, we'll loosen up a bit where we get moving even more. We got a couple more right here. And then let's just kind of bring a leg out and in, kind of reaching for the opposite ankle there. So you're still getting that twistiness through your waist, but lifting and lowering a leg. Welcome Eileen, welcome Nancy, Indy, Joanne, and Lenny. So I think Betsy is traveling today. She's usually here. She's actually coming to Texas. I get to see her on Saturday, meet her in person for the first time. All right, bring it to a light march right here. So our cardio moves are 30 seconds each. We have eight moves, four minutes of cardio, four minutes of strength. We'll do it all three times. This march is an option for our first 30 seconds, our cardio move, or you can take it to a sit to a stand. So those squats. So if you're going to hold some weight, reach down, grab those. And here we go. Marching it out. Ooh, that's super loud on that buzzer. So your first move is either this march or if you want to take those set to stand squats, that would be an awesome option as well. So it's completely up to you, whichever one you would like to do. We have three rounds of it. So you may choose to march on this one and sit to stand on another one. Your choice. Coming up, we are going to turn to the side and kick two and one. We're going to kick the same leg front and back. If you want to add a little punch of your arm, you can kick front and back, front and back right there. So weights are definitely optional on this cardio portion. If you are holding weights, try not to hold heavier than say three or four pounds. I have two pounds here. You got it right here. Second time through this, we'll kick the other way. So first time we're kicking just here. Then we're going to go into our side lunge punch right here. Side lunge punch. So you're going to be a little uneven on each side here in the beginning, right? Second round, we'll get our kicks to the other direction. You got it. Side to side, side to side. Perfect. 10 seconds to go. So these are 30 second moves. It goes quickly. We're going to go into our crazy jacks or our regular jacks, your choice. Here we go. So here's just kind of that basic jack. You can single side it. You can crazy it, right? I'm sticking kind of just middle of the road today on everything. As I said, my body's a little bit stiff. I might even take, you know, I might even bring it down. So listening to your body, you're feeling really good today. Remember, you can always crazy it out. You got it right here. We're gonna knee pull just to the right. So turn to the right, knee pull. So second time through, right, we'll get the other leg on these one-sided things. So you're going to feel a little bit lopsided for a bit. You got it right here. Pull across, pull across. 12 seconds to go. Pulling that knee across to your elbow. We're facing right, so it's our left leg that we're pulling. Two, and one, here comes our quick feet. So quick feet in, quick feet out. Quick feet in, quick feet out, shake and bake. You got it, looks great, Lenny. Nice Indy, Nancy. Oh, keep it going right here. Eileen and Joanne, stay with it. We're coming into a little seated crunch coming up. Three, two, and one, crunch, 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 right? We're like a nutcracker here The that you put the baton in, right? And it crunches closed, crunch the baton, 
Uh, crunch the walnut. We got it. Lift the knee opposite. So there's a machine at gyms and you kind of set and you crunch like this. You could do both legs at the same time if you wanted. Ooh, that's pretty intense. All right, let's end our cardio here with our cheerleaders. Keep going, keep going. I just gotta drop my weights. So heel dig, arms side to side. Then we're gonna go into our strength round. So strength will have a full minute. You'll be able to grab a little bit heavier weights if you choose. You don't have to. Three, two, and one. All right, here's our strength round. So we've got a full minute now. We're gonna palms forward, bicep curl, rotate, overhead press, and bring it down. You've done this with me before. So working our biceps, working our shoulders, working our core as we set nice and tall. You got it right here. Core in, back is straight. Halfway there. So we have four strength moves. And you might choose, so I went a little heavier here. I grabbed my six pound weights, but there's a move coming up that's shoulder, shoulder, shoulder. And I will probably lower my weights. And so you can always change the size of your weights during the strength portion as well. Three, two, one. Here comes our hinge forward. We're gonna row, tricep, release. Row, tricep, release. As we hinge forward, trying to keep our back long and straight. So we wanna avoid this. We don't wanna round. That feels really good for a stretch, but we're not stretching. We're strengthening right here. So core is engaged. Shoulder blades are back and down. We have three sets. So each set is eight minutes long, four minutes of cardio, four minutes of strength. There you are, Eileen. You got your camera on now. Nice. I always forget to, when I log in to take a class, I'm like, oh, that's right, my camera's off. 15 seconds to go right here. And you're gonna have some options on this next move coming up. If you wanna get up and out of your chair and go to the wall or use your chair for some push-ups, you can. Or I'm gonna show you air push-ups in your chair. Two and one. So this is where I do have to go lower weights for my air push-ups. So I could have my elbows up, pushing, and pulling, pushing and pulling. That is going to work my shoulders. That is going to work my chest and my back. If I want to come to a wall, I can take my push-ups on the wall. Or if I want to use my chair for push-ups, I could do that as well. So you do have the options to stand and do some push-ups. Wall, you could even come to the floor. I won't stop you. Or these chair air push-ups work really well squeeze you got to really think about squeeze the chest squeeze the shoulder blades squeeze the chest squeeze the shoulder blades yeah right there push and pull and then we're going to go to just our right arm this first time so first set three when things are one-sided we've been doing everything from the right, even though sometimes it's the left leg moving. All right, so grabbing one weight for our shot put. So the weight is in the right hand, throw it across, come back, push it across. Now I'm using my other hand as my spotter, right? It can assist as much or as little as I choose. Shoulder to throw, shoulder, to throw. So we are using our right hand, our right arm. Second set through, we'll do everything on the left. This is our last move of our first set. You'll get a quick break, enough time to just grab a quick drink, shake it out, and we'll go into our second set. Second set is where we'll do the opposite side. Our third set will split things half and half. Here we go, eight seconds. Woo. I am feeling that shoulder, two and one. All right, drop your weight, shake it out, quick drink. So it's just a very fast break here. And then we're starting back with our march or with our sit to stand, our squats. 
So if you are holding weights, go lower than four pounds, four pounds or lower on your weights. And here we go, my friends, marching or sitting and standing. Let's do it. So here's our march. Here's if you choose to take your squats. Let's see how these two options here, squatting or marching. Your choice. Squats is gonna burn those legs a little bit more. Great, but if you've got an ankle injury, foot injury, heel injury, knee injury, you might not want to stand up. And we're gonna turn towards the left right here and kick the right leg. So right leg kicks front and back. So our third step through, we'll split these one sides. We'll get half on one, half on the other. You got it right there. Keep it going. I'm going to wait out the way. I keep kicking it. Side lunge punches next. Eight seconds. You got it. Looks great, Nancy. Awesome, Eileen. Two on one. Side lunge punch. So turn and punch, turn and punch. Across. You got it right there. Nice. Then we have our jacks, our crazy jacks. And then our knee pulls, which will be one side. We'll be pulling the right leg, leaning towards the left. Three, two jacks right here. So you're good, basic middle of the road jack, your lower impact jack. Keep going, I'm like stepping on my clock, I'm stepping on my weight. <laughs> Any more space here, or even, your crazy jacks. Remember, crazy jacks can be single sided or double sided. Four single low, regular low. Three, two, one. Hinge to the left, pull the right knee. You got it right here. So you are working that hip, working that quad, working that hamstring, working your waist. Nice. Quick feet are next. In and out on those quick feet. Coming up. Eight seconds. Three, two, one. Quick feet. So quick feet close. Quick feet wide. Quick feet close. Quick feet wide. And your hands can move with you or your arms can be still. Whatever feels best to you here. Shake and bake. Come our crunches and our cheerleaders. We'll be back to our strength. So pretty quickly moving today. You got to keep going, keep going. I got to turn my fan on in here. It is like warm in Texas. All right, here comes our crunch. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Pull the belly towards the spine so that you can lift the knee towards the chin, towards the chest. Crunch, crunch, that's it, right there. Getting your abdominal work in. Then we have our cheerleaders coming up. Three, two, one, to the side, dig your heels. Nice. Really feel the shoulders. If you're holding weights, you're gonna feel the shoulders. Even if you aren't holding weights, you're holding weights, you're really gonna feel that. Shoulder burn. And we'll be back to our biceps. So if you're like me, your arms get tired, just bring them down a little lower. Whew, and then pull them back up. Here we go. Here comes our bicep to our overhead press. So no big movements here. If you wanna grab a little bit heavier weights, press over, rotate. Release, so curl, turn, push, turn, release. You got it right there, awesome, Lenny. You got it, Indy, so super strong. Set nice and tall, keep going, Mom. I know you're working. Release. I'm sitting nice and tall. If I'm sitting, I'm on the edge of my chair. My core is in. My glutes are engaged. 15 seconds to go. We get our row and our tricep. So 
work in more of the back of the body in five, three, two, and one. Hinge forward, chest stays up, squeeze, press back, release. So think about pulling the shoulders away from the ears and squeezing your shoulder blades towards each other on the back of the body. You got it. Perfect. All right, stay with it. Halfway there, 30 more seconds. Then we have our air push-ups, where you can stand. You can use the front of the chair, the back of the chair, seat of the chair, the wall, and take regular push-ups if you like. I think I may take some chair, some regular push-ups holding the back of my chair. What you do want to be aware of is your chair, if it's on a slick surface, you don't want to push into it and risk the chair moving too. And one. So if you're taking your air push ups right here, right? Or awesome thing to do is come around to the back using the back of your chair. You can take your push ups here too. So I'm going to try that this round. You just want to make sure you don't have a chair that's going to slide, right? So you could use the seat of the chair, the back of the chair, the wall, or the air. I love it. We're all doing something different. We've got air push ups, chair push ups, wall push ups. Perfect, 30 seconds to go. Then we'll be doing that shot put in the left hand. The weight will be in the left hand. Nice. Keep it going right here, 15 seconds. Nice long back, so I'm trying not to kind of get the break. I'm keeping my back nice and long. Four, three, two, and a one, grabbing a single weight in the left hand, turn a little bit to the left, shot put across right back to the shoulder, and push, down, and push. So you're getting that movement through the waist and through the arm. And we'll get another quick little break coming up, and then we're going to repeat everything one more time. And this last time, these two-sided things will split. So on the cardio, you'll get 15 minutes, 15 seconds each side. And on the strength, you'll get 30 seconds each side. Woo! Feel the tricep even helping to push that weight away. Right? If your arm is on fire like mine, you can always drop the weight and keep going. Ooh, and then I can grab my weight back when I'm ready. Three, two, and one. Ah, oh, right there, my friends. Grab a drink, shake it out. Quick break, right? It's not very long. I'm being nice today, right? I'm giving you two breaks. That is like unheard of. When we go back through our cardio one more time, this is our third set of everything. Remember, you can start with sit to stand or march. Here we go, with or without weights. So here's your march, or here's your sit to stand. So you have those two options to choose from. Then on our leg kicking, we'll turn first to the right. The left leg will kick 15 seconds. Then we'll turn quickly to the left and the right leg will kick for 15 seconds. That's in three, two, and one right here. Kick, right? Your arms can be steady or you can add that little punch. It's quick, it's only 15 seconds each side. Hang on, three, two, one, swivel it around, don't miss a beat. And to the other side, oh yeah. Love it, looks great, Indy. You got it, Eileen. And then we come into our side lunge punch right here. Punch, punch, punch punch. So we're turning and reaching. Remember, if you get dizzy, don't reach so big and keep your gaze to the front. Otherwise, reach it across. Work your back, your arms, your torso. And 
it is jack time, crazy jack. So if you're feeling pretty good, this is your last set of jacks here, right? So if you're feeling a little extra good, you can take it a little bit higher. If you're feeling a little extra winded, take it a little bit lower or find somewhere right in the middle. Then we have 15 second knee pulls each side. So it doesn't matter which knee you pull first. We'll do both in three, two, and one. Choose a side, 15 seconds one way, 15 seconds the other way. So today is very balanced, kind of cardio to strength. So you might feel like your heart rate doesn't get as high today as it does when we focus more cardio, switch sides. But you're getting more of an overall full body workout today. A little bit of everything. Quick feet coming up, two and one right here. Shake and bake narrow and wide. to sit nice and tall. This one's about agility. We're just trying to quickly move our feet. Quick, quick, quick. We're tapping right there on the ball of the foot, the cushy part of our foot. Seven seconds to go. And then we have our crunches. Here we go. Crunch it out. Crunch. 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 Good. You got it. Hang on, we'll work those abs, 12 seconds. We finish with our cheerleaders. We finish our cardio with our cheerleaders. We have another set of strength to come. Three, two, one, cheerleaders. So moving in the frontal plane, moving to our side plane, side to side here. Reach and lean using your obliques. Whereas before we were using mostly our belly, or the front of our belly. Shoulder, shoulders on fire. Five seconds. We grab our heavier weights for our bicep overhead press. Two and one right here. Switching it up perhaps. Curl, turn, press. Release. Now you could do one side also. If you're feeling a little bit fatigued, you could do one side at a time. You can also change weights, heavier or lighter. So if this is feeling easy, right, I encourage you, try to go up a pound in your weights. It's a great gift to yourself. A heavier set of weights. You got it. 25 seconds to go. Stay strong. Row tricep is next. Then our air push ups or wall push ups, chair push ups. Seven seconds. These sets are long after 30 second sets. Here we go. Hinge forward, row, squeeze, squeeze through the tricep. Shoulders pulled down away from the ear. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Nice. You got it right here. The more you hinge, the more the back muscles and the abdominal muscles have to work to steady you. So as I get lower, I have to work a little bit harder. So if I set up a little bit more, I get a little bit more of a break. So find that place. That's a challenge. We got 10 seconds to go. Air push-ups, chair push-ups, wall push-ups. I'm going to take the air push-ups this time. I'm going to drop my weights for them, right? So I could do my air push-ups even without weights. You could be holding weights. You could be coming on the chair, the wall. But I'm feeling this. My shoulders are my shoulders are burning. So I'm listening to my body. I'm always a little bit more tired by by Thursday. 
right? So it all just kind of depends on where your hard, heavy work days are and where your lighter recovery rest days are. So Thursday for me is a hard day. And then I try to take it a little easier on Friday, Saturday. So balancing out your workout, right? Every day can't be cardio, every day can't be strength. I mean, it can, right? But it's not as beneficial to our body. You wanna have some harder days, some lighter days, some cardio days, strength days. Two and one, shot put. So start in either hand, we'll do 30 seconds each. That will turn and throw. And then we will have time for a couple of minutes of balance work, or we're gonna work our hamstrings. So you can stay seated, of course, and I'll show you how to do the move seated. You can use a weight or no weight. Three, two, one, switch sides right here. So the donkey kick is what's gonna come up. We can place a weight behind one knee. We'll do one minute each side. You can do it seated in your chair or standing. I'm gonna show you how to do that, but I know some of you know what it is, so I just wanted you to know what was coming. 10 seconds right here. So these arms will get a little bit of a break. We've kind of fatigued them a bit. Three, two, one. So choose a leg. If you're remaining seated with or without the weight, we're taking our little donkey kick. So that's the seated version, standing version. Again, with or without the weight. I can hold on to my chair. I could try to balance and not hold anything. So we've got all these options. Maybe I hold on with one finger. Maybe I hold on with the hand. Maybe I stay seated. We'll do 60 seconds on each side. We've got just under 30 seconds to go here. So getting a little balance, a little hamstring glute. We haven't done this move in this class in a while. Now, if I'm standing, my standing leg is slightly bent as well at the knee for stability. Here we go, five, three, two, one. So if you're in your chair, you're going to turn and face the other way. If you're standing, right, you can stand wherever you need to to hold on to the chair best or not hold on at all. And then let's do it. I am hinged a little bit forward, whether I'm seated or standing. Now I could hinge even more standing and that makes my standing leg and my abs work even harder, but I still have my chair for support. So I can still hold on or I come up a little bit higher. You got it. Just under 30 seconds to go. We'll stretch it out. Nice. Thank you all for joining me today. I will be back later today. Length and strength. That is one of our newer classes on the schedule. 10 minutes of kind of full body strength work where we do use weights. 10 minutes of floor core work, 10 minutes of stretching. Three, two, one. Ah, so if you would like to stay standing, you can, or you can set heel down, toes up, hinge forward. Right, I'm just gonna go ahead and sit down to model that as well. So same thing in the seated position. Kind of a minimum stretch here, just holding each pose about 15 seconds. The leg that was out, we'll take it over, cross it, feel free to set for this one, or you can stay standing. Press gently into your inner thigh, press that hip away, that's gonna get into that glute. For those of you who did the squats at the beginning, if you did, or we all did, the ham, the donkey kicks. And then we'll switch that out. Other leg, heel down, toes up. Hinge forward. Hamstring stretch. And then cross that same leg over. Oh, the stretch feels good. <laughs> Anytime you're sore around the hip area, 
You can do this seated, you can do it on your back. I love doing it in a chair as well. Press that hip away. We are officially out of time right here. If you've got a few seconds, stick around with me. Let's get that upper body, right? So you can just open the chest, open the heart. This stretches through the chest, the arms, and then of course you could interlace and take it here. Maybe a little movement through your neck. Oh, thank you so much for joining me today. Maybe I'll see you back for yin or length and strength or lower body. If not, I'll see you maybe tomorrow. Have a beautiful day until I see you again. Bye, everybody.